Hello, everybody, and welcome to Danica Marie and our Dope Discussions. Today, you all, we have got to highlight just how much men are done allowing women to waste their time, okay? But before we get started, you all, please take this time out to like the video, share the video, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that notification bell. That way you all can be alerted for future dope discussions. Now, the reason why today's dope discussion is so alarming is because when it came to playing mind games with men or stringing them along or using any kind of finesse or manipulation tactics, a lot of women were able to, you know, kind of get men to bend to their will by doing certain things, right? So if I want a man to do something, well, I'll do this to get a reaction out of him, right? Or I'll do that in order to get him to play into whatever manipulation tactic that I am trying to use. Right. And for a long time, a lot of guys would go ahead and feed into it. They would play right into our hands in order to get them to do whatever we wanted them to do at that time. But that's not happening anymore. OK, men are now in this mode of, look, I refuse to allow a woman to play on my head top. I refuse to fall into whatever traps these females have set forth. Instead, I am going to take all of my energy and focus it on things that are productive and not counterproductive, things that can actually add on to my life and not destroy my life. And I'm definitely not going to allow anybody to waste my time or tie me up into some nonsense that I know is not conducive to my peace my overall health and well-being. And with men turning over this new leaf, right, and not playing into whatever mind games or finesse or manipulation text that we have set forth, that is really leaving a lot of women scratching their heads like, well, how am I going to get these men to bend to my will if they're not going to even play into whatever games I'm playing, right? And to that, ladies, let me go ahead and tell you something, okay? And again, y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Ladies, this is why I've been telling you all, stop playing the games. Stop trying to manipulate and control. All you have to do is be a genuine, authentic woman that adds on in a positive way to a man's life. And then he will pour into you so much because he respects you, he loves you, and he appreciates all of your contribution. That's all you have to do. There is no manipulation that goes into that. There is no mind game. There is no uh, finesse. It's simply a man pouring into a woman that is pouring into him. A lot of females don't understand that. They don't understand that the best way to get a man to do for you is to do for him. Reciprocity is the name of the game. But due to so many females having it in their minds that, no, I need to be able to get over. I need to be the only one that benefits from this equation. It really does set a lot of limitations upon us and us being able to enter into very uh, healthy, balanced, loving uh, relationships, unions, marriages is one of those things that we are limited. So that's the secret, ladies. The secret is to just be a valuable woman. That's it. Be a respectful, respectable woman. And that is a way that you can get a man to do so much for you. But we don't do those things. Instead, we would rather work harder and not smarter because we have it in our minds that, hey, we're smarter than the men. They won't see us coming, but they do. Men have now peeped game on us and they realize that when they try to meet us with the same energy that we were dishing out or when they were playing into whatever traps 
we had set forth for them to fall into, it really did stagnate their progression. It really did put a halt to whatever uh, goals that they had. And again, it just overall was wasting their time. So now men are like, you know what? In order to win at a lot of these games that these females are playing, I just need not to play. And now, ladies, we are only playing ourselves because the men are checked out. The men are done. They are not going to try to, you know, figure out what you want. And they're not going to try to figure out how to win at your game. And how, no, that is a wrap. The moment that these men are seeing that it's a dead end, it's a trap, it's a manipulation tactic. Mm -mm, I'm done. Mm -mm. She's trying to control me, get me to bend to her will. No, ma'am. I will just be by myself and tend to myself. And this is the setup for failure that we have laid up for ourselves, ladies. We, we are ultimately setting ourselves into this trap by trying to set men up in these different traps. Again, the joke is on us because men are not playing into this. But let's go ahead and share our screen so that we can get into um, how a lot of men are done. You know, a lot of men are just checked out completely. They realize once again that they waste so much time, so much energy on things that are kind of productive to where they could have taken that same energy and, 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 and placed it into something that would bring him money, bring him value, bring him peace, you know, help him to grow and evolve as a man. It's not worth it anymore, ladies. And as a matter of fact, it never was worth it. It's just that now men have figured out it was never worth it. And now they're not playing. But let's go ahead and get into it. I don't know about y'all, but I ain't with that match of energy shit. If you ain't acting right, you don't got too long before I simply just cut you off. With no hesitation, explanation, or concern. I ain't got time for mind games. You either rock with me or you don't. And that is true. Oh, did y'all hear that? He said, I don't know about y'all, but I'm not with the matching energy. Right? The moment that you come across as somebody that is trying to play games and all of that, you, you can play by yourself. And a lot of men have reached that conclusion. See, let me let y'all in on a secret. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. A lot of females like to get a reaction out of a man because that is a way for her to feel like she is in control. If I can get you to respond to what I'm doing, that means that you care. And that means that I am pulling the strings, right? So when a man takes his power back by not playing into it, that's a whole different ball game. And a lot of women get thrown off by that because it's like, oh, hold on. What type of man is this to where he's not trying to match my energy? AKA play into whatever I'm trying to dish his way, right? He is showcasing that he has discipline, that uh, I am not worth whatever energy that I'm trying to get him to uh, exude my way or place directly towards me, which is again, a shot at a woman's ego, okay? A female's ego to be exact, right? So whenever um, a guy is just like, you know what? I'm not even going to play into this. I'm not even going to get this any time of day. Uh, I'm just going to walk away. That triggers a lot of females because they're not uh, accustomed or used to men bowing out gracefully. Okay. And ladies, this is because men are done playing your games. Look, if you're not trying to act right, I'll go somewhere else and you can get left bars right this is how a lot of men are conducting themselves today and y'all can't handle it and all you had to do was once again be a woman of value all of these mind games and trying to get a man to react to you and respond to you and 
you know, turn up for you to showcase that he cares or that he's interested in you. That's childish, it's trash, and it's dead, okay? Men are not doing that any longer, ladies. The moment that they find that you are not it, <laughs> they're going to bow out. They're not going to go back and forth with you. They're not going to argue with you. They're not going to try to um, spoil you to get you to act right. They're not going to fall for any of your games. It's just a wrap. You're wasting my time. This is the energy that a lot of men are on. You don't believe me? Let's check the chat. All right, fellas, put a one in the chat if you are on the type of energy of, look, I am not out here to waste my time with these women. The moment that she displays that she is, you know, not trying to get on my program, not going for me, I'm just going to leave. No questions asked, no back and forth, nothing. Put a one. And I bet we see a bunch of ones, right? So, yeah, ladies, a lot of these men feel the exact same way that this young man feels in this clip. They're like, look, I'm, I'm not finna match your energy. I'm not going to go back and forth with you. You know, that's that's a wrap. Mm -mm. Nope. And a lot of us are just not used to that. This is a new breed of man. They are not playing. Okay. Too much time has been wasted. Too much money has been wasted. Too much love has been wasted. It was all in vain. And men have come to realize it was because they were doing all of these extra things for women that were not worth it. Women that should have been subtracted a long time ago. All right. So, yeah, they're not they're not here to play. Let's continue. We are not forcing relationships anymore. Treat people the same way that they treat you. If they don't show you no love, don't show them no love. If they ain't gonna do nothing for you, if they ain't gonna break their back and go hard for you, stop going hard for them. If a person treats you like nothing, don't give them nothing. Nothing. Don't give them no conversation. Don't give them nothing. You need to treat people the same way that they treat you. Stop showing unnecessary love. I'm telling y'all, this is a new breed of men. All that baby, baby, please, baby, baby, please act right. Baby, baby, please do right. Baby, baby, please, what's wrong? What can I do for you? How can I make it better? Done. Dead. A rap. Y'all saw what the brother said? Not wasting time on non-reciprocal relationships. It's a wrap. What does that mean, ladies? That means all of the friend zoning dead. That means all of the, oh, no, like, we can date, but, you know, I don't want to be exclusive, not yet, for, you know, as long as I want to waste your time until the man I really want to be with acts right dead. Okay? All of that using men for their money and resources. But again, you never want to commit and submit to them. Dead. If this is a relationship that is one-sided, dead. Not allowing you females to waste time anymore. And a lot of y'all are not going to be able to handle that. Y'all y'all not going to be able to handle that. Because so many of us bank on men feeling sorry for us. We bank on men um, being wide open as far as ready and willing to allow us to waste their time. What do we mean by that? And again, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now, what we mean by that is this. A lot of women have it in their minds that they are the baddest, right? And since I am the baddest, that means I can get the best of men. What is the best of men? That is the men that has money, resources, lots of love. These are the quote unquote gentlemen, right? The respectable, honorable men, the providers, protectors, the leaders. I can get those men. 
And not only can I get those men, but I can create a whole roster of those men to do for me. And they'll do it because I'm the baddest, right? This is how a lot of females were able to, in the past, um, take advantage. Oh, yeah, well, uh, if I don't have it, then I'll just call Larry. And then if Larry don't have it, I'll call Jim. And don't let Larry and Jim have it, because then I'm just going to use both of y'all. You know, and no, they understand that uh, I'm not their woman. They understand that we'll never be exclusive. But I'll be able to, again, pull resources when I need to. That's how a lot of females were able to survive in the past. By having men that were ready and willing to allow a woman that is not their woman to waste their time. Oh, yeah, I'm not your man, but I'll pay for this. And no, I'm not your man, but I'll do that for you. You know, a.k.a. Yeah, you can waste my time, baby. What's up? Right. And the reason why I'm ready and willing to have you waste my time is because in the back of my mind, I'm hoping and wishing that you choose me. We are used to men conducting themselves like that. To where it's like, oh, well, yeah, we're not exclusive. And no, I'm not her man. But, you know, one day, someday, hopefully I can be her man. So, yeah, let me go ahead and let her waste my time so she can see my value. And then she can choose me and we can be exclusive, finally. And women love to play on your hope for a relationship while stringing you along and taking advantage of you. A lot of females have done that. But now men are not doing that anymore. The moment that they realize, oh, okay, she's trying to play me. Oh, okay, she's trying to get over. Oh, okay, she wants a girlfriend, boyfriend treatment without being girlfriend, boyfriend. Oh, no, 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 no. No, ma'am. I'm not going above and beyond for you if first things first, you're not my woman. And then second off, you're not going above and beyond for me. What do I look like? This is why that brother earlier said, you know, I'm not with all the matching of energy. Look, the moment that you show me something, I'm just going to bow out. Let's go into that a little bit further. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Well, that statement alone was very simple, but profound. Let's break down why. He said, look, I'm not with that matching of energy, okay? We went into already why a lot of women would like for a man to try to match that energy, right? Because when you match my energy, that means that you care about me and that gives me the upper hand and that lets me know I'm in control because look at what I was able to get you to do. I made you react. I made you respond. That means I'm pulling the strings. So we went into that. But... Let's get into what he said. He said, look, I'm not matching energy. That means uh, the energy of, oh, well, I'm getting ready to be petty. Since you ain't going to do this and you ain't going to do that, I'm going to be petty towards you. He said, no, I'm not I'm not going back and forth, baby. Mm-mm. I'm not going to be petty towards you. I'm not going to beg you and plead with mm-mm. I'm not going to go tit for tat. No. The moment that this is not adding up, the moment that I realize that this is not in alignment with my program, I'm bowing out. You can fight by yourself, right? You can argue with yourself. You can try to pull manipulation tactics on yourself, play your own game and get played. This is what the men are talking about. Now, as far as reciprocity is concerned, men don't mind doing that when it comes to a woman that is pouring into them in a positive way. That's different. But matching energy like, oh, yeah, we're going to go back and forth and tit for tat. And I'm going to argue with you and make you act like this and behave like that and knock you off your square. No. And again, that was the main Thing that a lot of females use in order to get over on the men by making you all react and respond to whatever foolishness that we were dishing your way. 
Oh, well, I'm going to be petty. And when I be petty, that's going to make him do X, Y, and Z and one, two, and three. And then he's going to fall into my trap and then I'm going to win. Y'all know what we're talking about. A lot of females do that. A lot of females. Oh, I'm just going to act like this. And then he's going to do that. No, men are not doing that anymore. When you act like that, they're gone. <laughs> what did the other brother say? He said, we're not wasting our time in these relationships that are not even relationships. They're situationships. That's a wrap. If I'm looking for something serious, I'm going to need for a woman to be serious with me. Again, no games. Being straight up and down with me. Being real. Again, reciprocity is the key. If you're not going to meet a man where he is and, and give him the love and the respect and the support and the care that he needs, Mm -mm. you're wasting my time and that is what a lot of these women are going to be shaken up over because a lot of men are simply checking out and walking away but i told y'all what y'all got to do all you have to do is be a respectable respectful loving caring valuable woman and these men have no problem with pouring into you, loving you, providing for you, protecting you, all of that. They have no problem. But until we stop all of these mind games and trying to get all of these reactions out of men and having the upper hand and having leverage and taking advantage, mm, joke is going to be on us. This game we're trying to play, <laughs> we're going to play ourselves. Literally, not only are you playing yourself, but you're playing by yourself because the men are done. OK, but that's my dope discussion. Y'all let me know. Um, are you on this same type of energy that these brothers in these clips were on? Right. Are you done going back and forth or do you feel like, oh, no, you know, I just feel like women just need patience and I don't play into their games, you know, just to correct them and, you know, direct them into the right path. Let me know because it, there are guys out there that do feel like, oh no, you know, I'm not just going to cut her off. I'm not just going to say I'm done with her and all of this, you know, I'm just going to try to, you know, course correct, you know, I'll play into whatever her antics are just so I can make it a teachable moment. Are you that type of guy? If so, we would love to hear from you as well. But a lot of guys are like, no, no, it's too much work, too much work. And we're too grown to be trying to do all of these extra things when these women know better. OK, but we do uh, accept and respect all different perspectives. All that we ask is that you be respectful. All right. But uh, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe. And I'm going to see you all in our next dope discussion. And remember, ladies. These men are done allowing you to waste their time. Peace.